Hey everyone, welcome back to CBDC Panther. This is Amit, and in this video, we are going to talk about what is watermark in MuleSoft and what is the use of watermark. So, watermark is nothing, it is a listener which is continuously listening a location inside your PC or some other resource like database or FTP server. So, suppose that we have a requirement we wanted to continuously listen a location inside our PC. So, whenever there is any file gets updated or we create any file inside that folder, inside that location, we wanted to read that file and send the data to the Salesforce or send the data to some other database like Oracle or any other ERPs like SAP. So that is the use of watermark here. We also wanted to listen some database. We can also listen the database as well. We wanted to listen some FTP server and uh, there is some directory inside the FTP server we wanted to listen and read the file we can also do that so in this scenario we are going to read a file inside our local pc machine folder and we will see how we can read that so for that you just need to go to the mule palette where we can find all the connectors that are available so you just need to type file here and under the file you will get all the operations that we can perform related to a file like we can copy we can create a directory we can delete we can list all the folders or all the files that are inside their folder but we need to get this on new or updated file this is the one watermark that we are using here so if you drag and drop that here you will see that there is a additional flow that we have got we already have a very simple flow which is doing the same thing here so now we have got this it is showing a red sign that means we have got some error we need to fix that so first thing why we are getting the error it must require a connector so we already have two connectors here just to show you to create a connector click on plus icon so as soon as you click on plus icon it will open a new window for you click on this connection because if you wanted to connect with some other location instead of your workspace of your new soft then go to the working directory, select that working directory and then you can click on text connection to test either your directory is uh, accessible by this MuleSoft application or not. So I already have this, um, we, I can select this one and then under general section, we have got directory. This is the directory in which directory we wanted to listen. We wanted to send a poll continuously based on some time based or based on some frequency like one second ten second one hour or two hour that is what we have got here in the in which directory we wanted to so if you see here i am actually listening to a folder which is uh, which is a file smile soft under that files i do have this these many folders that i can access like i have this input so i wanted to access this input folder so how I can do that, I just need to click on, uh, sorry, I just need to type dot forward slash and then the name of my folder that I have got here. Then we have got some recursive, either we wanted to recursive, yes, we wanted to run it recursively and then you have got a matcher as well. You wanted to define some matching criteria like if your file extension is dot csv, dot xls, or dot txt, dot json, then only you wanted to read. You can also define that you have got global reference or edit and line we're not going to discuss this but yeah these those all options are available there inside that matcher then you have got watermark mode you wanted to disable based on some created or updated date times you can also select that we are going to leave this as it is and then you have got scheduling strategy how you wanted to schedule either fixed frequency or you wanted to provide some tron expression so if you see Click on this drop down, you will see fix frequency and cron expression. For the frequency, I just wanted to use every single second, uh, so I have just selected this one second. That's what I have got. And then, on the post processing action, that means uh, we have got the file, we processed that file. Now, what? What we need to do after processing that file? So, I wanted to move that into another directory that I already have, that is output. And then if you want to rename the file like we have processed, we can also rename the file as well. And then we have got apply post action when failed. That means if we read the file and we are performing some kind of action on that, then there was some error and that processing got failed. 
what we wanted to do that either we wanted to apply or not this particular options we wanted to do like we wanted to move that to the directory or not we wanted to rename or not we can select here either true or false by default it is a true you can also put some expression so that is all we you can do here and as soon as you click on palette you will see that error has been gone that's that is what i did here inside my existing flow that is watermark here so i selected file config i selected that input folder and uh, in the post processing action i have given i wanted to move that file to the output folder and then the frequency is one second that is what i'm doing here i've already started my application i'm just going to quick save it so that it uh, deploys the application quickly and we can then test this what else i'm doing here is uh, in the flow itself so our application is ready we'll test it later just to discuss after discussing these two elements so we have got this transform message what i'm doing is i'm sending a csv file i'm converting it into the json file and then i'm just doing a logger here that's it there is nothing else that i'm doing in the for uh, in the coming videos we will definitely do some processing on this flow itself but as of now for this today we have got this only now our application is ready to test we can quickly open that so i have got output folder and then i have got input folder so there are two folders that i have got and this folder is the folder where we are actually working our listener is working on this folder and listening in every one second so what we are going to do is i'm just going to move this file from the output folder to the input folder and you can see our listener has listened that file picked that file processed and then again moved that file into the output folder that is what our application is doing if we go to our application see the debug log here you can see this is the debug log under the logger that we are getting here we are saying that we have got uh, some payload which is some in, uh, in encrypted format that we are getting in the attributes if you see we must be able to see the file name so the, these are the all these are all the these are this is the location where we wanted to access the file like desktop mulesoft files then we have got input this is the file contact.csv that we just processed so this is the one way we can do the watermarking and there is another way that we can do watermarking in mule 3 it was polling the data source polling the local system or polling some http or some other resources that we wanted to poll based on certain uh, time interval we wanted to set in mule 4 we don't have that attribute that is poll but we have scheduler here so as soon as you will type scheduler in the mule palette you will see scheduler here it can also do the same thing but the difference here only is it is going to only act whenever there is a file updated or created and what scheduler is going to do is it is going to listen continuously based on the frequency that we have provided like if you wanted to provide a frequency like one second here we can say every one second what we wanted to do is we wanted to read a file here so i can quickly say read a file so file read yep i can say here i'm going to read a file and then we just need to provide which file we want uh, which is the connector and then which file we wanted to read we can uh, provide the uh, like uh, we have got input and under input we have got some file so as uh, we can also say under output we have got uh, contacts.csv let's quickly verify the name here so this is the file i'm just going to rename it and uh, we are going to put here so this is the file that we wanted to read here so i can even say here read contact.csv and then put a logger here just to show the here uh, and for the logger again we are going to put some uh, category here so that we can identify either it is coming from our scheduler logger or it is coming from the watermark logger so even we are going to stop this from the initial stage i am going to say that stopped and then I'm just going to quickly save this application so that uh, my MuleSoft is going to redeploy this application quickly for me. And then we will see either we are getting the log or not because in every one second we will be our Mule application will be polling the system. Now you can see here 
every one second we are getting the logs okay so let me stop this application because it will keep listening and it will keep giving us the logs we just wanted to see what is the name of the file that we are reading here so this is how you can do the polling into the inside the mailsoft 4 so this is it for this video if you have any questions please feel free to put down into the comment section and i will definitely help you here thank you